Welcome to EscapeX History Channel, where we embark on a captivating journey through the passages of time to explore the rich tapestry of human history. From ancient civilization to modern revolution, our channel is dedicated to unraveling the intriguing events that have shaped the world we live in today. Before we delve in, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel to never miss an update when we post new videos. Today, we delve into the story of the Battle of Thermopylae. In the year for 80 BCE, the mighty Persian Empire, under the rule of King Xerxes, cast its ambitious gaze upon the Greek city-states. The vast Persian Empire, stretching from the Aegean Sea to the borders of India, sought to consolidate its power by bringing the fiercely independent Greeks under its dominion. Xerxes, a determined and powerful ruler, amassed a colossal army and navy to achieve his imperial ambitions. The Greek city-states, however, were not unified under a single banner. Despite internal rivalries, they recognized the common threat posed by the Persian Empire. The Greek leaders convened in the city of Corinth to form an alliance known as the Hellenic League. Among the Greek city-states, Sparta played a crucial role, known for its military prowess and disciplined warriors. As the Greeks prepared to face the mighty Persian army at the narrow pass of Thermopylae, kingly Ornidas of Sparta emerged as a central figure in the unfolding drama. Leonidas, renowned for his bravery and tactical acumen, recognized the critical importance of the location in shaping the outcome of the impending battle. The pass of Thermopylae was a narrow corridor flanked by rocky cliffs and steep mountains providing a natural defensive advantage for the Greeks. The terrain acted as a bottleneck, limiting the effectiveness of the vast Persian army's numerical superiority. Leonidas, fully aware of the overwhelming Persian numbers under the command of King Xerxes, strategically chose this location to make a stand against the invading forces. The Greek force, consisting of 300 elite Spartans, along with soldiers from other city-states, skillfully positioned themselves in the pass. The rocky terrain allowed the Greeks to form a cohesive phalanx, a shield wall of overlapping shields and spears, making it difficult for the Persians to break through. The Spartans, disciplined and highly trained warriors, stood at the forefront of this formidable defensive formation. Leonidas, clad in his distinctive red cloak and bronze armor, surveyed the landscape with a keen understanding of the tactical advantages offered by the pass. He knew that the natural features of Thermopylae would play a crucial role in offsetting the numerical disadvantage of his forces. The rocky cliffs on either side of the pass prevented the Persians from utilizing their superior numbers effectively and forced them to engage the Greeks in a confined space. Leonidas, realizing the strategic importance of delaying the Persian advance, resolved to make a last stand at Thermopylae. His decision was not just a tactical maneuver. It was a bold and calculated sacrifice aimed at buying time for the rest of Greece to prepare for the looming invasion. The Spartan king understood that the narrow pass could serve as a choke point, slowing down the Persian juggernaut and allowing other Greek city-states to rally their forces. The air at Thermopylae became charged with tension of the Persian army. A colossal force led by the formidable King Xerxes loomed on the horizon. The clash of civilizations was imminent and the Greeks, under the unwavering leadership of King Leonidas, braced themselves for the onslaught. As the Persians approached the narrow pass, the Greek defenders maintained their disciplined defensive formation. The clang of bronze weapons and shields resonated through the rocky corridor creating an eerie symphony of war. The Greeks, comprising 300 elite Spartans and soldiers from various city-states, stood shoulder to shoulder in a phalanx, their shields forming an impenetrable wall against the approaching tide of Persian forces. King Xerxes, perched on a golden throne overlooking the battlefield, witnessed the unfolding spectacle. The Persian monarch, confident in the sheer size and diversity of his army, expected the Greeks to crumble under the weight of their numerical disadvantage. 
Little did he anticipate the unyielding determination and skill of the defenders awaiting him at Thermopylae. King Xerxes, confident in his vast army, approached the pass with arrogance. His army, a diverse coalition of soldiers from different corners of the empire, included the renowned immortals, elite Persian warriors, along with numerous archers, cavalry, and infantry. The Persians believed victory was assured, underestimating the resolve and skill of the Greek defenders. As the Persians approached, Leonidas and his 300 Spartans stood firm, backed by a small contingent of soldiers from other Greek city-states. The Spartans, known for their discipline and prowess in battle, formed an impenetrable phalanx with their shields locked together, creating an unyielding wall of bronze. At the forefront of the Greek phalanx stood Leonidas, a figure of stoic resolve and martial prowess. Clad in his crimson cloak and gleaming bronze armor, he wielded his spear with lethal precision. With a commanding presence, Leonidas moved with a grace and skill that belied the chaos around him. His eyes, ablaze with determination, surveyed the battlefield as he led by example, inspiring his men to stand resolute in the face of the Persian onslaught. The first clashes were fierce, as Persian arrows darkened the sky and waves of soldiers attempted to breach the Spartan defenses. Leonidas, displaying unparalleled courage, fought at the front lines, inspiring his men to stand strong. The narrow pass limited the effectiveness of the Persian numbers, allowing the Greeks to hold their ground against overwhelming odds. The clash of bronze against bronze reverberated through the pass as the Persians initiated wave after wave of attacks. The Greeks, however, held their ground with unwavering discipline. The narrow confines of Thermopylae worked to their advantage, preventing the Persians from exploiting their numerical superiority fully. The Greek phalanx, a tightly knit formation, absorbed the impact of each Persian assault, turning back the invaders with a lethal combination of shield and spear. Leonidas, with his Spartans at his side, became a living embodiment of martial prowess. He moved with a calculated ferocity, dispatching Persian soldiers with strategic precision. His leadership on the front lines bolstered the morale of his men, as they fought not only for their lives, but for the ideals of freedom and the autonomy of Greek city-states. As the battle raged on, the courage of the Greeks stood in stark contrast to the seemingly endless waves of Persian soldiers. The rocky pass, while limiting the mobility of the Persian forces, also became a gruesome battlefield where blood was spilled in abundance. Yet, despite the ferocity of the Persian attacks, the Greeks held firm, determined to fulfill their duty in delaying the advance of the Persian juggernaut. Leonidas, with sweat and blood staining his armor, continued to fight with unmatched skill and valor. His rallying cries echoed through the pass, urging his men to stand firm against the relentless assault. The sacrifices made by the Greeks at Thermopylae, under the leadership of King Leonidas, would go on to immortalize their bravery and resilience in the annals of history, becoming a symbol of defiance against overwhelming odds. For three days, the Battle of Thermopylae unfolded with intense ferocity. The Greeks, despite being vastly outnumbered, utilized the rocky terrain. To their advantage, repelling the Persian attacks with disciplined precision, the pass of Thermopylae became a crucible of courage and determination. As the Greeks showcased their indomitable spirit in the face of overwhelming gods, as the sun reached its zenith on the third day of the Battle of Thermopylae, the Greeks found themselves locked in a relentless struggle against the overwhelming Persian forces. The narrow pass, once a strategic advantage, had become a crucible of bloodshed, echoing with the clash of bronze and the cries of warriors. Amidst the chaos, a shadow emerged from the periphery of the battlefield, Ephiles, a local resident with a bitter grudge against his fellow Greeks, sought revenge for what he perceived as a slight. Driven by a desire for retribution, he approached the Persian camp and revealed a treacherous mountain path that led behind the Greek lines. The revelation of this hidden route sent shockwaves through the Greek camp. The once secure position at Thermopylae 
was now compromised. Persian forces, led by their cunning generals, swiftly exploited the newfound path. The Greeks, caught off guard, suddenly found themselves engaged on two fronts. The advantage they had derived from the narrow pass was now nullified, and the tide of the battle began to turn against them. King Leonidas, perceptive and quick-witted even in the face of betrayal, recognized the gravity of the situation. The Greeks were now surrounded, their defensive line compromised. In a moment of decision that would echo through the annals of history, Leonidas realized that a tactical retreat was necessary to salvage what remained of his force and warn the rest of Greece about the impending invasion. With a heavy heart, King Leonidas issued the order for most of his men to withdraw from the battlefield. The retreating Greeks fought valiantly, still inflicting casualties on the Persians as they regrouped and retreated towards safety. However, Leonidas, true to the Spartan code of honor, resolved to make a last stand with a small group of Spartans. As the majority of the Greek forces retreated, Leonidas and his chosen companions numbering around 300 Spartans along with a few others who refused to abandon their king, braced themselves for the final confrontation. They formed a defensive circle, shields locked and spears extended, ready to face the impending onslaught. The Persian forces closed in, encircling the remaining defenders. The clash that ensued was one of unmatched valor and desperation. Leonidas, fighting at the forefront, unleashed his martial prowess against the encroaching Persians. The Spartans, surrounded yet undaunted, fought with a determination that transcended the bounds of mortal courage. As the Persian forces closed in around King Leonidas and his dwindling band of Spartan warriors, the narrow pass of Thermopylae transformed into a battleground where the clash of civilizations reached its crescendo. In the face of overwhelming odds, the Spartans, led by their indomitable king, prepared for a final act of defiance that would echo through the ages. The sun dipped low on the horizon, casting long shadows on the rocky terrain. The air was thick with tension as the Spartans formed a tight defensive circle, shields interlocked and spears extended. Leonidas, standing tall and resolute, embodied the spirit of Spartan valor. His eyes, ablaze with a fierce determination, surveyed the encroaching Persian forces. The Persians, despite their numerical advantage, faced a wall of disciplined warriors whose every movement spoke of years of rigorous training. With a blood-curdling war cry, the Spartans launched a counterattack of unparalleled ferocity. Their razor-sharp spears found their marks, cutting down scores of Persian soldiers who dared to breach the defensive circle. Leonidas, at the forefront of the clash, fought with the prowess of a seasoned warrior. His spear danced through the air, finding its mark with lethal precision. The Spartans, inspired by their king's unyielding resolve, fought as if possessed by the spirits of ancient gods. Each strike, each parry, was executed with a deadly grace that left the Persians in awe and desperation. The narrow pass became a battlefield littered with the fallen a testament to the sacrifice and courage of those who stood against the tide of tyranny. The Spartans, though vastly outnumbered, fought with an intensity that defied reason. The Persians, for all their numbers, found themselves struggling to penetrate the unyielding wall of Spartan defiance. Yet, as the battle wore on, the sheer weight of the Persian numbers began to take its toll. The encirclement tightened, and despite their superhuman efforts, the Spartans could not stave off the inevitable. In a cruel turn of fate, a hail of Persian arrows darkened the sky, blotting out the sun as they descended upon the remaining defenders. In their final moments, King Leonidas and his Spartan brethren, bathed in the blood of their fallen foes, fought with a determination that transcended mortal limits. As the arrows pierced the air, finding their marks with deadly accuracy. The last remnants of the Spartan resistance fell beneath the relentless assault. The sacrifice of the 300 Spartans at Thermopylae, their bodies, forming a bulwark against the encroaching tide of tyranny, became a symbol of Greek resistance and unity. The courage displayed by Leonidas 
and his warriors inspired a sense of national pride among the Greeks, galvanizing them to stand firm against the Persian invaders in subsequent battles. The memory of Thermopylae, where a small band of Spartans stood against the might of the Persian Empire, became a rallying cry for freedom and democracy. The sacrifice of the 300 Spartans became an enduring symbol of the indomitable spirit that flourishes in the face of oppression, leaving an indelible mark on the pages of history. Although the Battle of Thermopylae ended in defeat for the Greeks, it proved to be a pivotal moment in the Greco-Persian Wars. The courage and determination displayed by the Greeks inspired a collective resistance that ultimately led to the defeat of the Persian forces at the Battle of Plataea and the naval Battle of Salamis. The legacy of Thermopylae lived on, their testament to the enduring spirit of those who stood against overwhelming odds in defense of freedom and democracy.